Here comes lot 640 now. There's the Victor. $67,000. And with that, we will close our Haggerty Fantasy bidding on this one-of-a-kind movie car based on a 65 Chrysler Imperial sedan. This is Black Beauty from the movie The Green Hornet. Now, Bob, I will respectfully dispute something you said just a little while ago that movie cars are 20 footers I assure you that when my friend the absolutely great Dean Jeffries designed and built the original Black Beauty out of a 66 Imperial for the TV series the fit finish and quality of that work is spectacular that was a show quality TV car then and he's since restored it and it is again in case you're wondering, this is a 65, but the original, the real Black Beauty done by Dean Jeffries was a very similar 1966 model, but different. Well, I said most. Okay. Well, this car is the answer to the question, what would Cato drive? Uh, I like the way that the uh, guns and the rockets are positioned to be hidden until needed. And then uh, either pop out of the bumper in the case of the rocket launchers or up out of the hood in the case of these uh, big machine guns. I guess there's some interesting merging of the, uh, the original and the uh, aftermarket on this. The big block Chevy oil pan, I noticed, the front of it has been notched to clear the Chrysler steering linkage. It does have Chrysler torsion bar suspension up front still. There's a Ford 9-inch in the back with the leaf springs that came from Chrysler in the factory. So it's basically a Chevrolet-powered Imperial. And again, the Chevy motor's in there undoubtedly just for parts availability and to give it just simplicity so it matched the other cars and they'd have to find specific parts. So I get it. Besides, Matt, Dean Jeffries built a TV car. I was talking about movie cars. Okay. You got me back. We're even, pal. <laughs> True enough. Well, I was saying earlier, there are actually a total of 29 different Imperials used, 64 through 66 models. Uh, just a handful of them had the armament that you see right there. The hood will actually open. The guns don't go down. But I was talking with the guy who was in the car. He says, yeah, we can open the hood, but it's not easy. So I don't think you want to work on that engine. And you'll notice this car does not have the extended roof line that does the original Black Beauty. That was a Dean Jeffries idea. Yeah, 50 grand. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mark and, Helmet and, has a phone there. Yeah. And they did not do that on the movie cars. That was for the TV cars only. The original Beauty 1 and Beauty 2 have a vinyl covered roof that has been extended from this roof line. Fascinating stuff, these custom bodybuilders and designers. I love the work that they do. Everybody knows the best looking stuff is on TV. Now, here's lot 640.1, 2000 Plymouth Prowler, a very special Prowler.